بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. One of the recurrent themes we find in the media and with all the various forms of negative propaganda that we see perpetrated against Muslims, specifically, we hear a lot of slander speech and lies attributed to the Dawah to Salafia, attributed to the Salafi or Salafist, uh, so-called ultra-conservative Salafists. As we hear all throughout the media, there are many various programs in reference to what's going on in Egypt, what's going on in Tunisia, all of these various uh, revolutions that took place in those countries in which the authority figures were overturned, also in Libya, and they were, uh, in the case of uh, Gaddafi, he was killed by the Western powers and those people who supported them or were supported by them. And what we find is a recurrent theme throughout the media is that it's always attributed to Salafists. So we have to first have an understanding what is meant by Salafi or Salafia. The Salafia is in fact just a call back to Orthodox Islam. It's calling back to what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what he said and his, his belief, his creed, his methodology, in propagating Islam, his manners, etc. And all of these come from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So for a person who attributes themselves in reality, meaning that they are serious and sincere about what they believe and what they strive to be upon, if, in fact, they are adhering to the Salafi Dawa, then this is where they take their creed and their methodology for practicing Islam and understanding Islam. They take it from the Qur'an, which is the divine speech of Allah, and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, and they believe in the Islamic institutions, uh, which come from the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and his companions, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. So this is in essence, if a person adheres to this, and this is how they practice and understand Islam, the orthodox manifestation of Islam, meaning how the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala majma'in, how they practice Islam, then this person is Salafi. This person is Salafi, as long as they do not go away from that foundation in the religion that believing that the Qur'an is the divine speech of Allah and practicing it, and believing that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the last prophet and messenger, والسلام, and following his sunnah and how he practiced and lived his life, and believing that their life should be, and their life should be uh, in accordance with the Qur'an and the Sunnah and how the early generation of Muslims practiced Islam. This is what we refer to as the Salafi Dawah or Salafi Minhaj. However, it has come to mean for many in the media a as, as uh, extremism. As we find every time there's something going on in the world, they blame it on Salafis. And they say Salafi jihadists, Salafi this, Salafi that. But in fact, more often than not, there is no relationship between these events and the call and the way of Salafia and the creed of Salafia. Or even those people who refer to themselves as Salafi, uh, what they believe and what they, they do. There's usually very little uh, relationship. As I heard recently, a particular individual said he used to be Salafi, 
but now he plays guitar and music in Egypt, and this is how he 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 s helps uh, a tr uh, spread protest and how he helps spread uh, whatever he believes. He cons considers himself a good Muslim. However, this contradicts playing music and and every action that he was referring to, which he attributed to himself as being a good Muslim is in contradiction to Islam. It's in contradiction to the sources of Islam, to the statements of Allah in the Qur'an, and to the statements of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who said that one day there will be people from his community who would believe that illegal sexual intercourse and playing string instruments was lawful, letting us know that they are unlawful, and that this is in accordance with Orthodox Islam. This is in accordance with Orthodox Islam that these things are prohibited. However, you have every Tom, Dick, and Jane, and Mary, and Muhammad claiming that they are Orthodox Muslim or that they are Salafi Muslims and doing every kind of act, whether no matter how, uh, how negative or how in contradiction this act is uh, how, how it contradicts Islam. But yet, these are always attributed to Islam. What's even more serious and more dangerous is the negative propaganda, the secularist onslaught, I call it. Why? Because secularism aims to completely devoid Islam of any meaning and to dismantle Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sharia, the Sharia that comes from the the divine laws that come from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Secularism aim the aim of secularism is to make a society which is based in in uh, accordance with the will and desire of the people being ruled in that society. Meaning that if one day they believe it's permissible for men to marry men, then those things are legislated and it's permissible for men to marry women. If another day they decide that drugs should be lawful or people should be allowed to marry animals, then they will indeed uh, make their laws and enforce laws which allow them to pr practice those evil uh, those evil. Uh, activities. And why do I say that? And because, in fact, this is the reality of what we see. If you look into the laws, for example, in Germany and many of the countries, you'll find in Europe, in several countries in Europe, and Germany being one of them, that you'll find that it's permissible for a human being to have relations with an animal, to marry an animal. Look into the law yourself and you'll find it. And there are people who actually uh, believe these type of movements are humane and are civilized and, and whatever else, what other guys and banner and that they uh, believe these practices are permissible, that they actually believe these barbaric practices are okay and are socially acceptable or should be socially accepted and not only that, should be lawful. This is the mindset of the secularist, that they want to remove all religious institutions from the society and make everything else permissible. So this shows a type of extremism that even those extremists, those ones who go beyond the Sharia, those people who are violent, those people who are terrorists, those people like Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda as they refer to them, those people who are not Salafi, who are far from the Salafi, uh, Salafi creed and Salafi methodology, those people are less extreme than those secularists because the secularists want nothing left of Islam, not even the worship of Allah any longer. Whereas those people, at least they believe in Allah. And they want to see the Islamic institutions. It's just they have a distorted concept of how to implement those things. They believe in force and violence and, and through terror in implementing the thing. Both of them have, uh, are a type of extremism. But the secularists have an extremism that even goes beyond 
what Bin Laden and others were propagating, by far. So, this is just a simple clarification of what it means to be Salafi and that we are far away from the extremism of those people who believe in wanton violence and at the same time we are far away from those people who are seculars who want to uh, belittle what is contained in the Quran and what is contained in the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to bless Ahlul Sunnah wherever they may be and protect us from the evil propaganda which never works with the media no matter how much they paint Islam in a negative light people become Muslim every day all around the world much more than people who leave Islam and this is only because Allah says in the Quran that Allah says in the Quran that they want to put out the light of Allah with their mouths. But Allah will complete His light even though the disbelievers hate it.